Hello everyone. I find something very interesting and disturbing. What your peers say about sexual harassment. Guess who put this up? It talks about five young people explaining what sexual harassment is and a very way you shouldn't I'm not sure how you say that word. Anyway, to do this, Jehovah Witnesses. They're the ones that put up this information. Why are they putting up this information? Are these young people talking about outside the congregation or inside the congregation? Is it talking about people harassing you on the job? Or the people you trust in the Kingdom Hall? Well, let's, let's do how they, in their hearts, talk about sexual harassment. And I'm going to show you some stuff, information, news-wide, all over the world. Some information that I found. And we'll go from there. Okay, first of all, if you hear these girls talking, you hear the watchtower words in their mouth. First of all, to make them a person feel com comfortable, the way you look, the way you dress, the way you talk. Excuse me, we're talking about men. It's probably about right, 20 years older than they are, old enough to be their fathers, old enough to be their grandfathers, and and these guys is touching these girls, these young boys in any religion. Come on, people, we're talking about adults. We're not. We're not talking about little kids touching little kids. Some kids are innocent. They don't know about sexual harassment because their parents probably haven't explained it to them because they never dream something like this will happen into happen in their own congregation, in their religion, trusting 
elders, ministerial servants, anybody in the congregation to believe that um, these men would hurt the young kids and their children. A kid shouldn't feel guilty for what somebody else thinking and how they approach them and rape them and all of that because these people are members of the congregation and half the time these people kids grown up and tell somebody that they was raped they was touched by this brother elders do not believe them that's the reason they got so much records of pedophiles at the watchtower and they don't do nothing because they don't put approach on the on this religion because the people find out how dangerous these people are in their own churches this religion will fall apart will be destroyed because there's no way this horrible nasty stuff could be in the true religion so I'm going to share some stuff that is it's been put out worldwide. The Jehovah's Witnesses elder arrested for sexual abuse. 30 years after a valley man was sexual molested at age 14. And who this guy was? Or Ms. Lester him, 63-year-old David Nelson. This guy was a Jehovah Witness. U.S. Marshal hunting for a Jehovah Witness? For a child offender? Oh, come on, man. You, you tell me a Jehovah Witness. The U.S. Marshals hunt for a Jehovah Witness? New Mexico? I mean, why would a Jehovah Witness be on the most wanted list? Jehovah Witness man scamming, scammed an elderly woman out of $250,000. You can see, read it for yourself. This guy scammed her out of her, her money. And this was a Jehovah Witness. Jehovah Witness man found guilty sexual harassment many miles at Disney World. And this was in Florida. And this was a Jehovah Witness. What's wrong with these people? Devoted Jehovah Witness murders eight in shooting spree. How horrible. Please Plotted that elder stock spy on former Jehovah Witness woman. I mean, you can't even leave this religion without being spied on by elders. I mean, how horrible is that? Jehovah Witness elder arrested for indecent exposure at public library? You mean he was showing himself to women or the kids or little children in, the, in a public library and this guy was 52 years old. 
Doesn't this try information is trying to tell you something? There's something wrong with this religion. And talk about sexual harassment. Is this called sexual harassment when a Jehovah Witness elder rapes an eleven year old girl? Eleven year old girl. Just stuff I'm finding out about the people that I care about. People I thought brothers are doing this to innocent people. A Jehovah Witness man jailed for attempting a death of girl. 54 was told by the judge that he was still in a still in dental above his penitentiary invest interest in young children despite of series of convention conventions. Why would a Jehovah Witness man would be abducting Adopted of a girl. Why? A five-year-old girl was yesterday this guy who adopted a Jehovah Witness I mean Trying to adopt a five year old girl. How sickening this person is. A Jehovah Witness man turns himself into the police for tempted pedophilia at the behest of. Secure counselors. I guess this guy was going to a counselor, counselor saying they fly that told him he needs to turn himself into um, to the police. People, this is only a small fraction of information that I found. And what your peers say about your sexual harassment. People, this information is truly about the members in Jehovah Witnesses Kingdom Halls. All over the world, they have many, many people has been arrested. And they are Jehovah Witnesses. Please, this information is to wake you up to realize no one claimed to be God's organization can have a bad slate. Because what you see, what I showed you, just a small fraction of Jehovah's Witnesses gone crazy, most wounded. Spending years in jail. And some of these little girls go to their parents and tell them this brother's touching them. Sometimes parents believe them, but when the brother tells his side of the story, they say, Oh, the girl must have understood his intentions. Excuse me, if he's touching the girl, he is dead wrong. And any brothers or elders believe. This brother need to be horse whip. Because this person has to grow up and believing that this religion is God's organization and this stuff is happening to them while they're a kid. Thank you and have a nice day.